revolutionary step in prosthetic limbs is helping one Aussie mum to walk again. This is an incredible story and it also has the potential to help many more amputees across the country. Jackie Bean has raised four children on one leg. But after 15 years, the Melbourne amputee has the chance to get back on her two feet again. Oh, how do I feel about walking? Oh, so excited. In 1996, Jackie lost her left leg to complications from a total knee replacement and soon discovered she was unable to wear a prosthetic leg. We tried for about 18 months for a conventional prosthetic to work and it was then discovered that I had allergies to both latex and silicon so it was to I was told look you'll never wear one successfully so get on with life without one. But the latest innovation in prosthetic limbs means Jackie has the chance to walk again. I do strongly believe that this will give uh, Jackie a strong chance of mobilising a lot freer and um, relieve a lot of the pain that she has suffered from with her upper limbs and um, get her back walking and more functional in the community. Orthopaedic surgeon Moonjed Al Mudiris is performing the procedure at Macquarie University Hospital in Sydney. The benefits are um, significant and I believe strongly that this is the future for amputees worldwide. Over two operations, a metal stem is implanted into the femur bone. The bone then grows onto the prosthesis and a robotic leg is finally attached. Jackie's operation is a success, but she has to learn to walk again, starting with weight bearing on her neglected left side. The recovery is tough, but Jackie knows the reward will make it all worthwhile. I bought new shoes, my first pair of shoes in about 15 years, and I'm looking forward to wearing them. Former Paralympian and sports academic Brendan Burkett knows what Jackie is going through. This year, he became one of the first Australians to successfully have the procedure done after losing his leg in a hit-and-run accident 25 years ago. I had 25 years with the traditional you know, hard prosthetic socket um, and this is just comfortable. It's still early days, but it's a whole new quality of life. How many weeks are we? Uh, it'll be 12 weeks now. 12 weeks now. Today, he's getting a checkup, as well as checking in on fellow patient Jackie. Hey, how are you doing? It's going really well, look. The, um, this is what you'll end up with, just the, the feeling that you've got in your natural skin um, without being confined in the socket. Is, it's a whole wow. new world, whole new world oh, for you, so it's wait. really good. After six weeks in recovery, it's Jackie's turn, and husband Bruce comes to take her home. Hey, look, Get away home, look. Fresh air. Fresh air. Nice Wonderful to be able to walk down the street with my husband and we're side by side and not him behind me pushing me, um, to be able to hold hands with him. This step forward in prosthetics has given one mum her freedom back, but it also has the potential to change many more lives to come. It's the most uh, revolutionary step in um, artificial limbs uh, for people with a disability. It'll, it'll make a tremendous difference to people's lives. After 15 years, you know, I'm finally walking it. Oh. <laughs> really good. I saw it. That's good That's the great story. One thing I love about those, those limbs, they're obviously functional, but they look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever question the impact that medical science can have on someone's life, and in this country, that's our research, it's amazing. That will change the lives of so many people around the world. Well, Jackie's daughter has arranged a trivia night to raise funds for Jackie's ongoing treatment. If you want to know all about it, just head to our website. Uh